Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Ink from the West. In this episode, I'm reviewing a game called Devotion. Produced by Red Kendall Games and published by Winking Corp, Devotion, inspired by East Asian folk culture, is a first-person atmospheric horror game. It tells a story of a family shadowed by religious belief. So this game has been on my wish list for the longest time. Uh, it's all made in Taiwan. Devotion is one of the most anticipated games in 2019. All right, so let's cut through the bull crap and start reviewing this game. Okay, so let's talk about the visual first. It gets a five out of five, come on. Devotion has one of the best quality art I've ever seen in any video games. I cannot pick out any point of improvement because the team reached the top. So say no more, this is the gem. Just look at this. And this. And this. And this. I've never seen any game that captures the culture of Taiwan so precisely. Literally, my grandma's house looks exactly like this. Like, what the heck? <laughs> Devotion, you've won my heart. Visual, I give you a 5 out of 5. Let me just say this, this game has voice acting, background music, and even original soundtracks. If this game doesn't get a 5 out of 5, I don't know what does. Audio in this game is perfect addition to the overall experience. In the game, the main character travels through time to know more about the family's past. Audio effect precisely delivers the accuracy of the era. Even the minor details such as this traditional religious chanting, dog barking in the background, the voice echoing through the hallway. Devotion makes you feel that you're back in the 1980s of Taiwan. The original soundtrack of Devotion is amazingly good. I also bought this song myself. A good lullaby, I'd say. I give it a 5 out of 5. Now, come to the depth of the game. Devotion is deep. I will get to the story in a minute. I'm only talking about the game itself first. Devotion carried out multiple art styles, which is refreshing and unique. Each art style falselessly portrays the perfect story in the game. There are a couple puzzle elements in the game as well, but since the game is story driven, the difficulty is set to easy. Which in a sense is a good thing. Honestly, a non-video game player can play this game without any problem. Not only it's easy to play the game, Devotion also has a very straightforward, yet intertwined storyline, which is kind of weird to say it out loud, but it made sense in my mind. So, well, all I can say is that Devotion is really good, and you should get it. It gets a five out of five for me. Devotion is about a family from Taiwan in the 1980s. The game starts with the main character watching the TV and talking to his wife relatively present time. Then the game quickly turned the time back to seven years ago when the family first moved into the old apartment. The main mission of the player is to unlock secrets of each year and learn about how the family went down. Mei Xing, which is the daughter of the family, is first introduced with some kind of breathing problems. Unlike most people, the main character decided to trust a local religious belief. Denying his wife and not trusting anyone, the family is brought down by this man. Devotion is such a masterpiece because it delivers the correct cultural background in Taiwan from the 1980s. 
Families experience and suffer from this subject until this day. By telling a story from a different perspective, devotion shows how terrible it can be to be blinded to believe in something, and it surely brings people together and reevaluate things in life. I also give it a five out of five for its story. Without a doubt, the team behind Devotion took so much love and care for this game. The carefully crafted storyline, visually satisfied detail, and a truth-staying culture, Devotion successfully provides its players something refreshing and amazing. Devotion earns a five out of five from me. So the total score for Devotion is five stars. I am so lucky to review a such beautifully crafted game. Let alone, it's done by my people in Taiwan. Truly, an honor to see Devotion come out. This is a must-play game in 2019. There you go, guys. My review for Devotion. You can get the game on Steam now. Let me know what you think and tell me the games you want me to review next. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.